This is Monsoon Awareness Week in New Mexico. Today's topic is lightning. Lightning is the most underrated weather hazard. On average, only floods kill more people. Lightning makes every single thunderstorm a potential killer, whether the storm produces a single bolt or 10,000 bolts. Lightning is often the first thunderstorm hazard to arrive and the last to leave. We are joined by Sean Bennett, meteorologist in charge of the National Weather Service office in Albuquerque. You know, we're talking about lightning, and 35 years ago, to this month, 35 years ago, uh, I lost a brother to lightning. He was struck by lightning while he was fishing. Uh, this was an area of northeast Oregon, and um, he did what... Um, what your instinct probably tell you to do was to get out of the rain. And he made the wrong choice. Um, he chose to stand under a, a very tall ponderosa pine tree. And the lightning struck the pine tree. And he was closest to the tree. His buddy was fishing with him, but it was about six feet away from him. So he took the full blunt, uh, brunt of the of the lightning strike, and it killed him. Remember, you are ultimately responsible for your personal safety and those in your care. And you should take appropriate action for yourself and those in your care when threatened by lightning. Had he been schooled in the safety measures mm -hmm. associated with lightning, thunderstorms, mm -hmm. and this doesn't have to be a severe thunderstorm, uh, it would have made, maybe made a difference. For example, you should watch for signs of approaching thunderstorms. Perhaps postpone outdoor activities if thunderstorms are imminent. This is your best way to avoid being caught in a dangerous situation. Also remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to a storm to be struck by lightning. We like to say, when thunder roars, go indoors. So get inside a house, a large shelter, or an all-metal vehicle. And you see this over and over again, human nature. All these kids from a soccer t uh, team or from a baseball, they're under a tree, you know, trying to get out of the rain. And that's not the right choice. Also, if a safe shelter is not available, find a low spot away from trees, fences, and poles. Now, if you're boating or swimming, get out of the boats and away from the water and get to land to find a shelter immediately. A vast majority of at least 78% of lightning fatalities or injuries occur outside. It is clear why we stress to go inside a building for protection or if you're in a vehicle, stay in there. Many think that if they are out of the rain shaft of a thunderstorm, they are safe. But lightning can strike miles from the main core of a thunderstorm. The good news here is that fatalities have shown a steady decline from the 1960s through the 1990s, with a sharp drop off in the past 10 years. Injuries peaked in the late 70s and 80s and have dropped off considerably since. The recent trends illustrate a sharp reduction in fatalities and injuries, supporting the idea that people of New Mexico have become much more educated on lightning and its potential dangers. I didn't know at the time that I would end up in meteorology. In fact, I was preparing to go in the Navy and be a, a weather observer. But the lightning thing happened. And, uh, and so over the years, I've taken it to, uh, as I've moved ahead in my career, it's, it's become a motivator because now what I do uh, as the director of meteorologist in charge of the weather forecast office and the National Weather Service here in Albuquerque is to make sure our programs are, are effective and make a difference in the lives of people uh, that we serve in the community. Now, did you know that the air near a lightning strike is heated to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit? That is actually hotter than the surface of the sun. And did you know that at any given moment there can be as many as 2,000 thunderstorms occurring across the globe. 
This translates to more than 14 and a half million storms each year. NASA satellite research indicates that these storms produce lightning flashes at about 40 times a second worldwide. Lightning always occurs with thunderstorms. Thunderstorms occur all around the world in all parts of the globe. And thunder occurs because there's lightning. So thunder roars, we go indoors. That's, so it has been a motivator because I want to change the outcome or try to change the outcome of, uh, of other people's lives that they uh, learn the appropriate response and take precaution when that happens. It's made a difference. I think so. 